Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to remove background sound from your audio. Alright guys, it doesn't matter how it was recorded, when it was recorded. I'm going to show you guys, even if the audio is contained in the video, I'm going to show you how to remove the background sound in this video. I'm going to show you step by step. Alright guys, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, just go to your browser and enter in audacity okay go right there this still works guys until now it works All right so just click on this link right here it says audacity free open source cross-platform audio software click right there and it leads you onto this page once you're here guys you're able to go to download at the top here and say you choose your pc type is it windows mac linux whatever you have here choose i'm going to choose windows because i'm on windows and then once i'm here i'm going to download it right here you can see right now it's downloaded and then from here i can click and install my audacity it says here open i'm, I'm going to open and if it doesn't open for any reason i'm going to go into my files okay there we have it it's opened and once i'm here i can click on yes okay but my audacity is already installed on my pc okay so once that's done guys if that's you i mean you, you already have it on your pc you can join me the next step if not you have to proceed and click on yes and keep on going following the prompt until you install it okay so let's go back and then since i'm already i already have the app on my pc i'm gonna press on the windows button and then search for the app so i'll type you in audacity audacity there you go it's right there I'm going to open it and it's loading it's loading it's here it's here it's here i'm going to say skip uh i'm going to say skip as well i'm going to say okay and i'm going to open it make it larger and then this is our recording platform right here so what you can do guys is if you want to record a sound i advise that you record directly with audacity what you can do is plug in your mic to your pc or whatever you're using and you can record your voice right here so to record you can click on this button right here it says to record your voice like we have this it's now recording my voice as you can see um, it's recording everything i say and you can see this is the wave the wave patterns that show that the voice is being recorded right now okay and then to stop recording click on this button right here at the top here top left it says here stop click right there and it stops to record you can see right now I'm, I'm speaking but it's not recording so because it has stopped recording so i'm going to go right here and if you have a sound like this guys which is recorded directly that is fine if you don't have a sound that you know that's recorded directly with audacity what you can do is to simply go to to uh to your files okay files right here and you can you can simply go to your files right here or your file and then you go to import go to import you see audio right here i'm going to click on audio and i will go to my folders and find the exact location of the of the audio which i want to import and click on it and it imports the audio right away for example i have this audio right here that says jenkins tutorial i'm gonna click right there and it opens this audio right here it says here um that this tutorial here all right okay so it's giving us a prompt message here telling us that the file is in mp4 format which is the reason why it cannot import into here so that's clear guys because we are supposed to only import with files and mp3 files these are the files that mainly work with audacity all right so if we can just simply go to file here um and go to, and go to import click on audio and it opens once again and we can look for files here that are actually um our wave files this is a wave file for example it's a wave file as you can see right here it's a wave file click on the file and it imports the file as you can see to audacity right so it's imported the file beneath the original file i have here because obviously it's my second recording all right so you can have import as many as you want it to uh but uh normally guys i would say if you for regular recordings it's normally like one sound right so you can just do that right here and so let's say we have one sound so this is how you import the other one okay so let's just work with the one we have already so let's go here and let's highlight this one and let us delete this one we have right here 
let's delete this one right here simply delete it okay now we have only one so to delete the sound on this tab so they come right here and click on this cancel button here just close and you close that tab simply that's how you can delete that voice sort of a voice area of recording now if you have this one which we recorded the first time i'm going to show you how to take off the background sound which is pretty much the same the same um the same method uh it's just that we're doing it here for an audio that was recorded directly on audacity so what you can do guys is to expand this expand this out some i'm just expanding it okay okay let's get to the end of it all right so it's slightly too much all right so let's this is good enough guys so now once my my recording appears this way now i can see every aspect well spaced now what i can do is to simply go to the first aspect guys so there's a trick to all this guys before you're able to record with audacity or before you should record make sure that you give a little bit of silence before you record the reason is you want to be able to capture the original background sound of the environment before you start recording so if you observe right now let's let's go back to our drawing board let's cancel this okay let's say once start recording right now i'm going to click this and pause click this and wait then start talking so what i've done right now is i've allowed audacity to capture the background sound of my environment before recording the reason is it has to have a standard to be able to remove it from the original recording which is why um it's important to watch this video okay so let's just stop the, the recording right now stop right here and let's remove because i was speaking at first that's why i recorded this let's take this off smooth that and now this is our background sound so if we play it we can hear it okay let's just play it quickly So it's all quiet there. It's all quiet there. Then start talking. So what I've done right now is I've allowed Audacity to capture the back. So there you go. So this is the area of background sound. So you can highlight this area, okay? Just drag and highlight the area and go to effects, effect, and go to where it says here, noise reduction. Okay, let's go to noise reduction. And we go to get noise profile. So we're saying to Audacity, Audacity to capture the the amount of noise in the background originally okay we'll do it right now and then we now we have the noise profile what we can do next to click on the on the recording and then highlight everything and we now go back to effect and click on repeat noise reduction so what we're saying now is to audacity to use that background sound that it has captured to apply to all of the sound and take off anything that sounds like that so we'll do repeat noise reduction right here and it takes off the noise completely from the recording. All right, so I'm sure you're saying, what has changed? What really happened now? Audacity has done what it's supposed to do. Now, normally what happens is if you have a very long recording, you see a box that comes out here and it shows you the, the progress of the removal of the background sound. But because it's a very short recording, it was so quick that you didn't see it, okay? So that's what happened. So let's hear it again then start talking so what i've done right now is i've allowed audacity to capture the background so now the background sound is gone okay so if you if you're wondering if this really worked out let's go back to what it was before let's go back let's do control z and this is what it was before okay like this you see so if you hear this let's take it off if we hear this again then start talking so what so the thing is my environment here is really is really 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 quiet that's the reason why it seems like it's all the same but that's how you do it guys let's say you have in a very noisy noise noisy environment <laughs> well you, what you can do is to simply do exactly what i've shown you in this video by allowing some time before you record and then when you have recorded then you can now use this background area here as a, as a um, standard to removing the sound or the background sound in all the aspects of the recording so that's how it's done in in city guys and that's the video guys thanks for watching and please like the video subscribe and see my next video bye for now